Atrial pacing ECG. Pacing artifacts, also known as stimulus artifacts and pacing spikes, are seen before each P wave. P waves have an abnormal shape and appear biphasic in most leads. PR interval is mildly prolonged. Paced P waves have a morphology different from the normal P waves because of a different conduction sequence. Paced P waves can be wider than normal P waves for the same reason. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. Atria alone can be paced in 6 sinus syndrome where the AV conduction is intact. This will prevent potential future left ventricular dysfunction due to dyssynchrony which can occur with long term right ventricular pacing. Usual mode of pacing is AAI that is pacing and sensing the atrium working in the inhibited mode. The same ECG pattern can be obtained even if there is a DDD pacemaker but only the atrial part is functioning. Physiologically this can occur if the AV conduction is intact at the time of ECG recording. The DDD mode covers for potential deterioration of AV conduction later which can produce ventricular systole. It is mandatory to establish the presence of good conduction in the ventricles before considering single chamber atrial pacing. Simple EP study to check the HV interval will document whether the infrahysen conduction system is good. HV interval can be rechecked after atrial pacing at a higher rate to see if it deteriorates at higher rates. Ajmelin can be used during EP study to stress the conduction system. Ajmelin has been shown to be useful in unmasking infrahysian disease. Ajmelin stress can be used for deciding on single chamber atrial pacing in 6 sinus syndrome. This is to make sure that AV conduction is intact and likely to remain so in the near future. Here is a reference on using Ajmelin to unmask infrahysian disease. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.